they, the United States government is now conducting a worldwide inventory to find out what countries might have highly sophisticated simulation machines, the type of uh, machinery in which one s sits inside and literally is trained how to fly them. Uh, there is considerable reason to suspect that the use of the cell phones on the planes was not for lack of sophistication, but was in fact by design, essentially leaving a trail of crumbs for U.S. government officials to find out, because ultimately terrorists' success depends upon their being understood and their being found out. Coming from behind the building. And if this is religious martyrdom, as many Islamic fundamentalists uh, choose to uh, achieve for their goal, uh, they want it to be known that they're doing this. Uh, a variety of other... I'm sorry, Don. No, go right ahead, so I was not interrupted. Oh, I'm sorry. What's this other jet doing? What's what this other jet that? doing? Holy fuck! So you have no idea right now? Oh, there's now. another one. Another plane just hit. Right? Oh, my God. Another plane has just hit. It hit another building. Flew right into the middle of it. Whoa! It's right in the middle of the building. Holy cow! Here's the plane. Here's the tape. Another plane just hit. Another plane just hit. Oh, my God. The other tower. Just into the building. Just ran into the other tower. You say that emergency vehicles are there, understandably so, but of course the major concern is human oh loss. I mean, do you know if there were many people in the building? Oh, another time? one just hit. Something else just hit. A very large plane just oh. flew directly over my building, and there's been another collision. Can you see it? I yes. can see it on this shot. Oh, oh, something God. else has just hit. Oh, we just that saw a like plane circling the building. We just saw a plane circling the Boom. building. Second the shot right before I that. think there may have been another impact. Can you tell? I just heard another very loud bang and a very large plane that might have been. A... That, uh, as you look at uh, the picture from our oh, chopper, right now, right, 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 at the scene, into the uh, Jim Freeney and Hoboken uh, came said across a guy leaning against the hood of a car, listening to the radio because you heard these first reports come in. Uh, 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 into oh my goodness, oh, there's another one. Suddenly, on the left side of my viewfinder, I saw something CBC coming News has from behind the building. New video of the terrorist strike. It includes the sound of the jetliner screaming to its target. Planes that hit the World Trade Center. Four different I mean, black boxes. Planes that hit, I mean, oh, 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 hit the World Trade Center. Four different black boxes. Planes that hit the World Trade Center. Four different black boxes. Planes that hit the World Trade Center. Four different black boxes. That doesn't get much closer than that. Our office is barricaded. My, my office kind of collapsed around me. Um, one of my colleagues came uh, rushing along to see if I was okay and put my drag me out. And I like to hear everything else that's going to be okay and called out myself. 
At six minutes My past nine, as onlookers watched in horror, the, the second round of 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 the second of the towers of the World Trade Center in New York. Some 18 minutes later, television tragedy. viewers across the country watch in astonishment as a jetliner flies right into the second Trade Center tower. In Sarasota, Florida, President Bush calls the crashes an apparent terrorist attack and a national tragedy. I saw this plane. It didn't look like it was out of control at all. It was a... Uh, a medium-sized body plane with uh, engines on both sides just fly right into the building. I thought at first it was a shadow uh, that was going to you know, swoop over top of the building like we've seen in the past just sitting here in our office, but this plane is headed directly for the building. And note, it didn't look like there was any trouble at all with the plane. It didn't swerve at all. It just landed directly in the building. It was like, almost like a gray black color in nature on the plane. And it, seemed, it seemed as though it, it, it just flew right into the building without... Yeah, like he, was, like he wanted to fly into the building. He wasn't trying to avoid the building. No. This guy swooped directly into the building. Right, that's what it looked like from one vantage point. And that's from the Empire State Building. Thank you very much. You got it. Okay, well, also to speak with us now, people are checking in from all over from the Village Penthouse. I'm not sure exactly where that is, but we'll find out. Carl Tendler is joining us. Where, where are you located? Uh, I'm near Washington Square Park. I, I live in a penthouse which faces directly the two World Trade Center building. Were you looking outside when this happened? I heard noise overhead. And uh, I got up to see what it was. It was a low-flying aircraft. It was about 150, 200 feet off my penthouse. He was flying straight ahead, and he, he pulled up a little bit and uh, uh, went into the just hit the side of the World Trade Center. There was a huge flash. Uh, the aircraft looked like he was a uh, DC-3. Uh, he was aluminum, uh, no markings, aluminum, and he just flew right into the building. I still can't believe it. All right, thank you very much. That's what you saw from the north. Right? Uh, that is uh, the of money the trade center in Washington Square. All right, so we're, we're hearing a couple of witnesses who said they saw a plane fly right into the building. Tom Kaminsky in Chopper 880 back with us again. And uh, we are getting a look at the south side of the building, and certainly there is now a counterintelligence, a whole slew, billions and billions of dollars that just yesterday were not planned to be spent because of what seems trivial in retrospect. The argument that they had over what is a social security lockbox and what is a social security surplus. Uh, Democrats and Republicans alike now no longer constrained by that rhetoric. Uh, planning as we speak to start throwing money at national security issues. This entire area of lower Manhattan is absolutely going to need to be avoided. For how long, there is absolutely no way to tell. Now, we've gotten a look at least three sides of tower number one, and that is the only building... It's exploding effect. right now, Tommy. We're seeing... Another that was another apparently plane. that was another plane we have a witness who we just spoke to a moment ago we're hearing from carl tendler who was at the village apartments in washington square we're trying to bring him on the air right, that carl. was a second plane uh, that just blew number one it's been another one carl yes he hit in building number one the other building yes he flew right into it you describe exactly what you just saw yes please. i saw this jet coming towards uh, the building he was low uh he was about halfway up and he flew into, uh, it looked like the south side, south uh, east corner of, of the building. So uh, building number two is now burning. So that's now either Someone one plane or, the, or two the planes point. flying into With each building. one aircraft that just hit the see. south corner. It looked like a twin engine jet. That is about what was described, what you described earlier, wasn't it? You had told us. No, that... the first one was a DC-3 that hit the first building. Okay, we're seeing, like, it, it looks like some kind of sick confetti parade. There is debris flying out of that south tower. We saw a burst of flames a moment ago just before that we talked That was the aircraft that just hit building number one. Okay, we're going to go back Thank to Tom you, Kaminsky and Chopper 880. It's been about, okay, it's been about 20 minutes since the first explosion, the first plane flew into the North Tower. Tom. We have, we have gone to the north side of the World Trade Center, uh, so we were shielded from, the, uh, from that, uh, but just uh, moments prior to that.
it is not not easy to land uh, these kinds of aircraft at very specific locations with accuracy or to direct them with uh, the kind of accuracy which was deadly in this case.